What's going on guys, 24-7 Tech here, and in this video we're going to be comparing the Fitbit Versa and the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Both these fitness wearables are amazing devices, but there's only one that you can buy because you only have one wrist that fits you. So which one should you pick up? In this video we're going to be talking about all the features that both of them offer, what both of them have in common, and which one you should buy, and my overall selection of which one I like the best. Stay tuned for an awesome video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch some more awesome tech videos in the future. As I sent a clip before, guys, take one second out of this video, subscribe down below. Every subscriber makes a difference. We need all the help we can get to get to a thousand subscribers, guys. Please subscribe. Every subscriber matters. So what's cool about the Fitbit Versa? What features does it have over the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2? First of all, it's much cheaper. One, let me talk about the Fitbit Versa Lite. That's sort of a toned down version of the Fitbit Versa. It comes in at $159, however, you can buy it for just $129 today on Fitbit's website. But anyways, for $159, this um, Fitbit Versa Lite is more of a toned down Fitbit Versa. And if you want to save some money, you're not missing too big of features. Fitbit made this uh, Fitbit Versa Lite because they wanted to make a more budget alternative compared to the Fitbit Versa. But even if you want the more expensive brother, the Fitbit Versa comes in at only $199 compared to $279 for the Galaxy Watch. Next one, it's more fitness adhere. It's made by Fitbit, which is known for its Fitbit uh, sort of fitness wearables. So this watch sort of takes cues from all of them and the fitness experience, the heart rate, steps, distance, they're all much more accurate and much more developed because Fitbit's in this, done this fitness thing, these fitness wearables for many, many years now, while Samsung really hasn't. And the battery life also is outstanding compared to the Galaxy Watch Active 2. The Fitbit Versa lasts me four to five days on a normal charge, and that's better than any smartwatch that I've seen before. So what are some similarities that you get with both of these devices? First of all, there are a variety of color options and bands for both of them. So color options are no slouch because the Galaxy Watch Active 2 offers six different colors, and so does the Versa lineup as well. So if you're looking for a different color to stand out from the crowd, don't worry, these smartwatches got you covered. Both of them also track sleep, calories, heart rate, steps, distance, all of those things. Both of these wearables do that. So the basic fitness functionalities, both of the watches do. But as I said before, Fitbit is much more accurate and does have a little more minor advantages up its sleeve. Next one, notifications from your smartphone come directly on your smartwatch. So any messages or great changes or anything come on your smartwatch if you have both of these, uh, any of these smartwatches. So the Galaxy Watch Active 2 also has a bunch of features up its sleeve as well. First of all, there's an optional stainless steel finish of the Galaxy Watch Active 2. As you can see right here, this is the Apple Watch Series 3 stainless steel. It looks much better than the aluminum one. It's more durable as well, but as you know, it's much more expensive as well. Second of all, more, like much more smartphone apps are compatible with the Galaxy Watch Active 2. The Fitbit Verse really has a lack of smartphone apps that work with this. And third-party messaging systems don't work on the Fitbit Verse as well. You need to have it just from your one messaging app, the, whether that be just normal messages or iMessages for iPhone. Second one, the thinner bezels on the Galaxy Watch Active 2 are a much more better 2019 look, you could say. The Fitbit Versa has the same design from last year, 2018 as well, but no slouch. I mean, it's no slouch in the design perspective, but just look at, take a look at that Galaxy Watch Active 2. It looks much better. The bezels are sleeker than that Fitbit Versa. And the next one is the modern design. As I showed you in that picture, the circle design is really nice. It's something different from the square design that you've seen from Apple and Fitbit, who copied Apple. <laughs> but the Samsung circle design is something different and a lot of people are starting to prefer that because it looks like a traditional watch, especially with the six different colors and the stainless steel option this year. You could pretty much camouflage it and people would think it's an actual watch, whereas it's a really powerful smartwatch. It works with the reverse wireless charging feature on the S10, S10 E, S10 Plus, and the Note 10. And there are two size options, just like the Series 4 Apple Watch, 40 and 44 millimeter, which is a good blend, even if you have a small or a big wrist. So what are my overall impressions about both of these fitness smartwatches? First of all, if you want to order the Galaxy Watch Active 2, you have to wait a couple of weeks to be specific. September 6, 2019, the Samsung is better for the design, display, the features, everything is better about the Galaxy Watch. But something you do have to keep in mind about the Fitbit is that it's much, much cheaper. And even if you splurge for the Versa Lite, that comes in at just $159 compared to $279 for the Galaxy Watch Active 2. And there's no 
cheaper option than the Galaxy Watch Active 2. So really, the Fitbit Versa, if you could go the Fitbit Versa way if you want to save more money, but if you're sort of looking at a higher end smartwatch, you're willing to spend more money for better features, the Galaxy Watch Active 2 wins this completely for you. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below. Every subscriber makes a difference, we need all the help we can get to get to 1000 subscribers and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!